Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we'll talk about a multi-page form. So let's head over to Elements, we'll insert a page break, and we'll head over to its settings and add a page. So what we will do here in the first page we'll create we'll insert the account information and the second page we will create a contact. So let's add some fields to the second page. We'll put a text box call this uh, first name and we'll duplicate this this will be our last name and see if we have an email field we'll insert an email as well and that's enough for now now let's take a look at our style here. We'll hide this and we'll add some buttons, next and previous. So let's do next. Next page. We'll head over to the settings of the button. We'll say this is go next. Give it some style. And let's head over to our next page. Copy this guy over here. We'll do rev. And we'll insert a submit button. Let's just change this into a previous button. Go prep. Save the form. Let's add a submit button. This will create our account and contact. Let's change the style. Let's do this. And the font will be white and bold. Let's head over to our Salesforce integration to the push. So we're creating an account. We map the account fields. And let's take a look at our <coughs> contact. So we mapped our contact account ID into our first account ID. Let's, ma let's map in the last name, first name, and email. Apply and finish. Save the form. Let's publish it and see what we see. Okay. Some name, I'm not going to fill in, you can fill in the address, and let's do United States, go to the next page, and contact last, and let's submit the form. Let's head over to our integration logs and we can see that we have a submission an account was created and a contact underneath it let's go to our account and we have under that account a contact that we mapped in the first name last name and the email and that's how you do it 